We have a problem. CARE did a survey about food insecurity in New Haven, and they found that the greatest rates of food insecurity, mostly in the low-income neighborhoods. Food insecurity is one piece that is a byproduct of poverty and marginalization. Food insecurity is on the rise in New Haven, and our schools are often tasked with making up the difference between what kids need to eat and what they actually have access to at home. Over 80% of the students in New Haven are food insecure and do need to have school lunch. Because I got the sandwich, right? I got ham, cheese, and lettuce. Maybe they don't have enough money for food at home. Maybe they just don't like to eat at home. Maybe they don't have time, and school lunch should be like that one source of the meal that they know is stable. We know there's a food movement both in New Haven and across the country. Studies say it's working, but the kids eating it disagree. Hello, my name is Daniel Ruben Gonzalez, and today I'm gonna be sampling some of New Haven's finest delicacies. To the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act of 2010, championed by the First Lady and signed by President Obama, the USDA made the first major changes to school meals in over 15 years. I had an experience where I didn't eat lunch, and when I went to gym class, I felt terrible afterwards. 